Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Um, this video is going to be installing these beautiful wing decals from Dub Campers. If that's something that you're into and you want to see how to do it, stay tuned. So welcome back. If you are new here, please do consider subscribing to everybody else. Thanks for always watching my videos. So Dubbed Camp has reached out to me and asked me whether I'd be willing to make a video on installing their lovely T6.1 style wing decals. Um, they do look really nice. Um, I mean, I'm my, me myself. I'm not a big fan on decals on my own van. I actually like them on a lot of other people's, but I've always wanted to stay true to myself. May I mention this before? So uh, nothing's really changed here and they probably aren't gonna be staying on the van. Um, however, I do actually like the way these look, so I'm happy to install them. So I think this is something that uh, a lot of other people may actually go ahead and stick on their van. We should be in this box. Let's get this cracked open and see what we're working with. Nice. So we've got a bit of merch and um, here are the decals. It's a better look at the decals. Um, so, zoom in on that. They look pretty good quality, and um, we'll go ahead and see how well they apply to the van. There is as well a little cheeky Doug Campers um, window sticker. Nice t shirt. Actually, they sell these t-shirts as well uh, on their website. So um, that's the back, that's the front. Well, to be honest, let's do things properly. Here we go, guys. So that is the Dub Campus merch. Thank you very much. If you like what you see, head over to their website and start uh, putting them in the basket. So I'm going to get the van clean and then we'll be ready to apply these decals. Let's do it. So the van's now all nice and clean, so we're ready to put these on. On this table, I've got all the tools you're gonna need to do that job. You're gonna need a pair of scissors, something to apply the sticker with. This is a window decal uh, application tool with a soft edge and a, and a firm edge. Craft knife, a spray bottle with some very mild soapy water in it, a cloth, optional for the masking tape. You might want that to uh, help you line yourself up and obviously the decals. All right, so one of the first things we're gonna need to do is actually cut this decal out. You don't need to worry about the, the, uh, the bottom line so much, but you're gonna need um, the top line and these two cutting out to the shape of the, uh, the black outline. So we're gonna go ahead and get that done. Thank you. 
Okay, once you've gone ahead and done that, it's uh, time to get the wing ready. So, let's get you zoomed in on this. Okay, first step we're gonna do is just trial fit this up here so we can see where it's gonna go. Okay, so we're looking for that. That's what we're looking for. Okay, so first thing we're gonna need to do here is give it a light, very light mist on this wing, just like so. And then, close as you can to the panel, you're gonna to wanna to peel this off. Check your line. When you're happy. Just have a stand back, make sure you're happy with your positioning. And then, if you're happy with everything, spray a bit of water on. Take your application tool, and from the, the middle, Work your way initially up. So you push out all your air bubbles. I wouldn't go side to side straight away because actually you can tend to crinkle up the, uh, the, the, the vinyl. Try and push any air bubbles from the center up and out, and then from the center, and out, and work those air that work that trap there. Out of the decal. Just like that. And then with your craft knife, really, really carefully, just score. Not careful not to push on your paintwork. That, like so. And there we go. Okay, we get it started like that. Keep your tool handy and then just carefully and slowly pull that back. If you pull, instead of here, if you pull at this angle, you'll, you'll leave the lettering, you know, here. You've got to be careful not to pull out the little letters. So pull it at this angle and not at this angle. Pull it backwards. Whichever way you're going. Slowly. Take particular care across here because of the lettering. That's it. And then as you go back, keep pulling. All right, there we go. And then, You don't want to fit all that now. Tiny, tiny bit of body panel heat and that'll dry out nicely. And uh, yeah. All right guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I really, I genuinely, really like the way these decals look on the t6s and the fives um this t6.1 effect sticker so i'd be interested to hear what you think about it and whether you think you put one on your van and uh, if you do maybe this video will be helpful but um 
you know, I did say to dubbed campers that I will remove them after fitting because um, I wanted to stay true to myself and that I wanted to keep this bus clean. Um, that was my goal was to have no stickers on it, just the two little Vossen ones on the window, which I started off with when I first had the wheels put on. So um, they are going to come back off for my van, but uh, it'd be a bit of a shame because they do look good. However, um, I've always said that the videos that I make won't lead me into something I wouldn't have done naturally. So just wanted to put that out there, guys, if that raises any questions about things I said before. I genuinely really like them. I would love to hear in the comments what you think of them, and I'm sure Dub Campers would as well. But if you do want a set of these, head over to their website um, or any of the merch. Um, it's really good stuff. It was a good quality uh, decal. And um, pop one in the, in the uh, shopping basket and get yourself fixed up. I want to say thank you to Dub Campers for asking me to do it. And um, yeah, thanks ever so much for watching. If you're not already subscribed, please do smash that subscribe button and I will see you here real soon in the next video. Take care guys.